Winchester, the power base of the ancient Kingdom of Wessex, the capital of England before London, home to a thousand year old cathedral and the seat of power for King Alfred the Great, who was crowned King of Wessex in AD 871. Corruption, scandal, self-promotion, it's pretty hard to find examples of good leadership in the world today. Here's the story of a king who I think did a pretty good job. Back in the day, churches were powerful life centres providing medical care, education and emergency provision. One of them, Crowland Abbey, was destroyed in a brutal Viking raid in 866 AD. Everyone inside was mercilessly slaughtered. Within two years, the Viking King Guthrum had overrun half of England and was now threatening the borderlands of Wessex. It was the moment when Alfred stepped into his destiny. During the first attack on Wessex soil, Alfred was almost killed and he withdrew to Winchester. Every day while his wounds healed, he prayed, not just for the people of Wessex, but also for the Vikings, that they would encounter the God of the Bible. Many battles followed and then against all the odds, the Viking lines were broken during the Battle of Eddington. And now facing total annihilation, Guthrum surrendered to Alfred on the battlefield, hoping for a quick end to his life rather than the slow torture he had planned had the tables been turned. Now the two kings are face to face and Guthrum prepares himself for Alfred's sword through his guts. To his utter astonishment and probably great relief, the Wessex king offers him not a slow or even a quick death, but terms for peace. Why would you do this for me, Guthrum said? Why would you offer me peace? Because, said Alfred, I serve Christ, the Prince of Peace. And so as the Battle of Eddington draws to its most unlikely conclusion, the Viking king is overwhelmed and shattered by the mercy that is offered him by Alfred, prompting him to ask a second question. Is there any way that I too can serve Christ, the Prince of Peace? Guthrum was converted on the battlefield and baptised back in Winchester. He and Alfred then lived as allies and brothers, bringing an end to the Viking raids in England. In the years that followed, King Alfred wrote down a moral code of ethics based on the Bible. It was later embedded into English common law and much later became a source document in the American Constitution. King Alfred the Great's remarkable reign over Wessex and then a united England meant that diverse peoples were brought together, borders were respected and former enemies lived side by side. His Christian values set the moral compass for generations that would follow after him. So there you go. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know what you think and subscribe if you want to hear more from me and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.